Big Z Reviews. Roma is a new uh, drama that's on Netflix from my favorite directors, Alfonso Cuaron. And it's almost like a scripted documentary. Like, it's such the, you know, like realistic filmmaking that is very different from any movie I've really seen beforehand. <laughs> So this movie has been out for like a month on Netflix, and the reason I haven't reviewed it before this is I actually like um, before Christmas I went down I, I, when they, the, the night it came out I was like I was really excited to watch it and I started and I think at the same time I was I was wrapping some Christmas gifts and I, I started the movie and then like I got so bored by it in the first like 15 minutes I turned it off and watched nailed it instead like and. I, like I said, the the beginning of this movie is kind of a chore. But like when you first start, there's like a five minute scene of the main character washing the floors. Then there's like a five minute scene of the father of the family parking his car in the garage. And then there's like a five minute scene of them of the maids doing exercises. And at that time is when I stopped it. And I was just like, this is so boring. And I stopped it, and I didn't want to. I didn't really want to watch it. But then, I, I love the director, and I know all of the great buzz for this movie. And well, I have to give it a shot, and I have to really just sit there and pay attention to it, and and let it see what happens. So I, you know, tried again. You know, started from where I left off, and then almost immediately after after those scenes I talked about, you get this really stupid boyfriend of the girl that comes in, and there's like a full frontal nudity of this guy who takes. The shower curtain off in their room and starts spinning it around like a bow staff with his junk flopping all over the place. And it's like, I have watched it and it's like, is this meant to be like funny? It's supposed to, like, this guy is, is the, is he, is he mentally retarded? Is he, uh, what, what's going on with this? This guy is a douchebag and he's, is spinning around with his bow staff and, and you don't know what, it's, why he's doing this scene. And I think it's like it's like it's supposed to be co is it supposed to be comedic, and but you know I still I I I, I stuck with it, and uh, it, it the movie as the movie went on I did really enjoy the movie. It is a gorgeous film, and a lot of the earlier scenes like there's reasons for doing it. And I know like the like I, it's kind of cool like the the crowd creates like this difference of like this comparison to these these actions. In the beginning, you see the the dad slowly parking his car perfectly in this really tight uh, garage area, and takes you know five minutes to do it. And you see the whole scene like with, with no cuts. Then later, you see after their relationship is going horrible, and the and the dad essentially left them to go have, go with, live with another woman, left all the kids and everything, and she's trying to hide it that oh he went to went to North America to do research on something. And like she gets drunk and she drives the car home and this and this smashing it into each side of the wall of and like it's trying to park it and it's kind of that the dichotomy of those two scenes is kind of it's really powerful and really well crafted. Like it's kind of like when I first started, I just wasn't in the right mood for it. I think like the, I say if you if you do try to watch this, don't be scared off by the film's first twenty minutes. The the the, the it's, it's first twenty minutes are a little. They're 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 a little bit of a challenge. Like, like I mean, if if you're not in the right mood for it, like you have to just keep watching, and then they'll pay everything will pay off. And, you know, the main actress Yelissa Apricio is really great. Like, you don't know that she's like playing just. It feels like a real character, and the film like feels like you know a biography. Like like if you feel like a, I call it like a a scripted documentary. It's like, like you know, it's it's so tough to actually describe. Like what this movie is, because it's it's like a a year in the life of this maid and the family she takes care of, and it's kind of like an autobiography too. But like it's slightly based on like one of the kids is the, the director, and that essentially is his the you know the nanny who, who raised him really, 
and that it's like it's time in Mexico, like it's a rough time, like there's protests and everything, and you see that like some of the stuff is, is horrifying, and you see that the the person that like is they get her pregnant and the the bow staff naked bow staff guy is horrible, and they you know that almost seemed like uh, I think that maybe that scene with him naked is almost like so you can make fun of him like for how ridiculous he is when later when he does horrible things. And uh, you, see, you see kind of you see, the way they, and there's some scenes that are so kind of, they're odd, like almost seem unreal, but they're so real that like you, they're like, they're saying something so understated, they're so kind of beautiful. Especially like I know this one guy, it's like almost like it looks like a wrestler, like he's there training these young men, which are really going to, to, to beat up and murder protesters. And that they're, they're, the government's training them by acting like they're just teaching them martial arts. But like you have this guy come in and do like a I think a yoga expert, and he does this thing like, and no one else can do it. Like all of these young men that have been training can't do it, and then you see everyone's trying, and then see you see the maid just kind of do it herself, and it's like they don't even say anything about it. They don't come out and say like how amazing that is, but like you realize like how kind of beautiful and how strong she is as a character. And it's just so well crafted. And you know, some of these scenes are just, they're, they're like long takes. And there's like no cuts. And they're showing what happens. And uh, they're beautiful. But they're also like terrifying sometimes. Especially towards the end. There's one scene that is so like kind of horrifying. And it looks so real. And it's kind of funny. There's um the uh, the one the one the magazine and, and the YouTube channel. They have... Uh, these round tables every year for like for the Oscars, like who they think will be nominated, and they have like so far they've released the full round tables of both the actors and the directors, and the director that Alfonso Cuarón was there, and he, like one of the directors, one of the other directors asked him how he did this one scene, and he said, "Well, it's we, we filmed the we filmed it chronologically, so if something were to happen, well that that's how the movie would have ended." <laughs> and I think he was kind of joking, but at the same time, he was like, well, well, he was in Mexico, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> but again, how he said that he was like, they used like a crane to slowly get it out and to get it, to get the shot. But I mean, like, I think the movie is, is even if it's worth watching just for that one scene. But I mean, all, all the scenes, there are so many like beautiful, but they're also like, they can test you sometimes how they're, they can be long and you don't know where exactly some of them may be going, but you know, they, they get to the you, by not even like you don't like. There's no like uh, there's no uh, info dump about like who these people are. Like you get like some like, it feels so naturalistic, but like, you get to know this uh, Elisa Apriccio, the character she's playing, just by seeing her react to all these different events in her life, and that uh, you you feel like you really know her. And then when s some things go badly, it is incredibly emotional, and is it's beautiful. But it's, 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 it's an uh, it's not a normal movie. That's why it's it's very different, but it's very beautiful. And I would I would definitely highly recommend it. I'd probably give it like an eight point seven five out of ten. Uh, it is a very different movie, but it is gorgeous. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure that you play it through my head and subscribe to me in that Z over there. Thanks. This has been a Big Z Movie Review. Thanks for watching.